Hey everyone, it's Nate from Grower's House. I'm here with Bill. Bill is the owner of Urban Horticultural Supply, an indoor garden manufacturer and distributor who just came out with a very unique double-ended thousand watt complete light fixture that uh, he brought down to us personally, did a quick drive, and uh, so that we could throw it under our spectrometer because he actually built this light in conjunction with um, a high-end, let me see, scientific lighting facility. Yeah. So we wanted to throw it under our meters because we do a lot of testing with other lights and see how it compares. And um, I'm telling you we're doing this video because it did extremely well. So let's go over a little bit of the background of this light, um, what it's all about, features, functionality. Bill, um, where did this light first come about? Well, basically what we did, Nate, is we needed to have, we felt we needed to have a, a different, um, something a little bit better than the, the competitors, and that's what we set off. So the first thing we had to do is we took a look at the, at the leaders in the industry, which uh, Gavita and Epapion, you know, they're kind of the first two companies and major brands in the, in the horticultural industry. Mm -hmm. And we took a look and did a lot of tests to make to see exactly what we were getting at all different heights mm -hmm. above the plant canopy. And we really were setting out to, to design a product that was a superior product specifically to those products. Okay. And, you know, if you're going to sell products and you're going to create a demand for a brand like Digilum, you're going to want to be able to have a product that's superior. Mm -hmm. So we took those test results took a look at the different heights and determine what our benchmark was. We set out to, we, we didn't know exactly what we were going to get when we first started testing, but mm -hmm. basically the results we were, we were able to accompli accomplish over a period of a number of months of rigorous testing back and forth and redevelopment stages that we got to a point where we found that our results were suitable for us mm -hmm. and uh, being able to take a look and, at the PAR levels and be able to put out a significant more amount of PAR than the current competitors' mm -hmm. units on the marketplace. So from what I understand, your light was designed really to be uh, an indoor light. Correct. Not as opposed to maybe the EPAP and the Gavita, which were originally designed for greenhouses. That's right. And the footprint was made that way. Yours is made to be hung about 36 to 48 inches above the canopy. That's right. As a primary lighting source for indoor, not greenhouse. That's correct. So we looked at the marketplace in the United States at the current time, and we recognize trends in the future that that many people in, in climates that are you know a little more suitable for greenhouses that that's the direction that will be heading over a number of years. But for right now, as you and I both know, most of the most of the setups uh, that are being done in the United States for commercial lighting applications are being done indoors in a non-greenhouse environment. And the funny thing is, is that we're using supplemental lights in an, in an um, lighting, lighting designed by Gavita and EPAP for supplemental lighting in an indoor facility. It's kind of, it's kind of backwards. So mm -hmm. we wanted to have a light that was specifically designed for that indoor application. Mm -hmm. And I must say, when I first looked at this light, I thought it looked kind of peculiar. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely got a long, I would say, reflector. Yeah. That's a little longer. Kind of parabolic looking in shape. That's right. And um, so I was very curious to see how it was going to test. And this is a high frequency ballast that goes up to 1150 watts, yep. just like your standard EPAP and Gavita and most other yep. double ended these days. That's right. Um, the cool thing was it seems like the intensity and distribution came out a lot more intense and a lot more even than I would expect out of a reflector like this. And you mentioned that this reflector can actually be substituted in a Gavita fixture if you wanted to? Yeah, well we took a lot of, did a lot of things differently. There's a couple different things that's a little different. First of all, you're right Nate, mm -hmm. you can take this fixture here which is going to be available in the next few weeks mm -hmm. as we're in production right now here in the United States with this 98% German uh, reflective aluminum mm -hmm. which is the highest standard in the marketplace and we wanted to make sure that it had not only better light output that it could be utilized in other kind of universal applications within the horticultural industry with other products that are already on the market. Mm -hmm. So yes, we're able to provide this product not only to fit to fit the Digilume reflector uh, arm, but also the Gavita reflector arm and a few others within the industry. That's great. So, and I mean, price point wise, it seems like you guys are able to come in there basically at the same price, if not slightly better than some of these other ones out there? Yes, very competitive pricing. Uh, you know, we've already got pre-orders for thousands of these units and uh, in commercial uh, and uh, mm -hmm. mostly commercial 
larger commercial uh, settings and also medium-sized commercial settings. So we're able to get the cost down and to be more cost-effective. Not a t not not crushing the price, but quite a bit less than, than the competitors. Yeah, that's good. I mean, if it performs better and a lower price, then it's uh, probably going to be a pretty good value for the indoor marketplace. So, I mean, I can already tell you guys, we tested this even before we ran the video, and the test is really good. We'll post it below, but this is the best double-ended fixture that we have yet to test in our facility. So check out the information and the diagnostics below. We have a spectral graph as well as our PAR measurement over the 4x4 um, at different heights. Other than that, this is Nate from Grower's House and we'll go over some of those measurements here in just a second. Thank you. So here are the test results of the Digilume DE 1000 watt complete fixture. And um, like I was saying earlier, they did extremely well. I mean, this unit, at least in the center, has the highest readings we've ever recorded at 36 inches for an indoor growing light. What I'm doing right now is actually comparing them to the last double-ended 1000 watt test that we did with the ACDE, the Adjust Wing, the EPAP, the Gavita Pro, and the Magnum uh, XXXL. And I mean, I think the only, I mean, when compared to a Gavita light, Really this light is throwing out more intensity over that 4x4. There's only a couple spots on the outer perimeter where you see the Gavita does slightly better. But it seems like this reflector design is really pumping the light directly over your canopy. The only light that we feel like really compares against this one is the, the Sun System ACDE we tested which was the best light in the last test we did. And that light was slightly less the Sun System ACDE in the center for overall intensity but had slightly better overall distribution on the outside perimeter but um, when you're hanging a lot of these in a room I mean it's tough to see which light is better it just depends on whether you need air cooling or want a complete fixture so uh, keep your eyes on this I think you're gonna see a lot of grow journals come out with this light and we'll see exactly what kind of performance it's putting down as far as plants uh, yielding out in quality and quantity other than that, this is Nate from Grower's House, another really cool light to the indoor growing industry. Have a good one.